Lidmar LMTV, Lidmar Television. Lidmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Lidmar. It's Monday, March 4th, 2024. It's National Marching Band Day. Here's what's happening across the campus. Topping our news, a congratulations from the art department. Farrow is here with the report. The art department would like to extend its congratulations to Ison Pollard and Lucy Scott for winning awards in the regional Scholastic Art and Writing Competition. Founded in 1923, Scholastic Art and Writing Competition is the longest running, most prestigious recognition program for creative teens throughout the country, with judging beginning at the regional level. Congratulations again to Ison Pollard and Lucy Scott. Back to you guys. Pharaoh, attention AP students. This is the last day to sign up for AP exams. If your class started second semester, you need to declare yes on the College Board website and pay your $89 exam fee in order to take the exam. The payment portal for second semester closes today. Make sure to pay for the, for the exam before it's too late. And those are the LMTV headlines at this hour. I'm Maggie with Linmar Sports. Varsity boys track and field will compete in the River Hawk Indoor Track Invitational at Mason City High School. There will be a boys tennis player meeting at 2 p.m. tomorrow in the food court. If you are playing tennis this season, please plan to attend. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Becker. No, this is a time change due to early dismissal. Th back, that sports back to you. Thanks, Maggie. And news from the counselors. Remember, there will be two-hour early dismissals tomorrow and Thursday this week. Classes will dismiss at 2 p.m. with buses leaving at 2.05 p.m. RTI will be available from 2.05 to 2.35 p.m. A rep from the Iowa State will be at Linmar for an in-person visit at 1 p.m. If you have any questions or you're interested in learning more, stop by the counselor's office to get a pass to visit. Now here's Katrina with the Arts and Clubs. The Mental Health Matters Club is holding a clothing drive for the Wildcat Closet tomorrow, Tuesday, March 5th. New or gently used clothing such as sweatpants, leggings, shorts, hoodies, and crew neck sizes, small through XL, or 3XL actually, are needed at this time. Drop-off times are 8.15 to 9 a.m. and 2 o'clock to 2.45 p.m. in both the Pride Rock and South Commons. Oh, hey, this date for the spring fling is Saturday, March 23rd from 8 to 10.30 p.m. in the main gym. In order to bring a guest that does not attend Linmar, you must complete and turn in a guest permission form. These forms are available now in the counselor's office. Deadline to turn them in is this Friday, March 8th, so get completing. Badminton Club meets Wednesday this morning at 8, a at 8 a.m. In the, in the Ox Gym. Be sure to attend. Back to you. Thanks, Katrina. For lunch downstairs, it's chicken parmesan. The other lines offer hamburgers, pizza, salads, or sandwiches. In the food court, it's stuffed crust cheese or pepperoni pizza. For breakfast on Tuesday, it's a panwich. Your LMTV forecast calls for likely thunderstorms today with a high of 58. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with a high near 56. Wednesday continues with mostly cloudy skies and a high near 56. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. LMTV is always available online. Just go or ch and check out the Limar website or check us out on YouTube. Join us again tomorrow. And make it a fantastic Monday, Limar.